<sighs> what's up, what's up, YouTube Circle? <clears throat> no, that sounds depressing. What's up, what's up, YouTube Circle? Let me here back with some more top lane gameplay. Today we're doing Trundle against Gnar here on the Diamond 2 account. Wow, I didn't know he was in there. That was actually pretty lucky. Although he still autoed me. Um, this one is going to be brutal. <laughs> Their team, they've got Gnar and Kennen as the solo laners, so no matter what, this was going to be rough for me. The only good news is, this dude doesn't play uh, Gnar. It looks like he's a Fiora main, and maybe he just chickened out playing against Trundle. Okay. You know what really bothers me? Is that his movement speed is lower than mine. His is 336, mine is 350. Q gives me a longer auto range, so I'll never understand why I don't catch up to them, and why I'm not able to auto. It just doesn't, just doesn't make sense to me, and it's not the first time I've noticed something like that. I guess maybe I just didn't walk a long enough distance to gain any ground or gain any noticeable ground, but it's still annoying. And Vladimir dying with both summoners up. I just, truly, you've heard me say it before, I just have no respect for people who play ranged top laners. I think they have no spines. You would have been better off playing Fiora. That dude almost got himself killed. Uh, maybe not killed, but maimed, for sure. <clears throat> just about. Okay, nice. They might get more out of that. Oh, yeah. Wild. That's obviously a good start. This is going to be one of those games where we're going to need assistance in order to get anything really going in this lane. Q, arranged top laners keeping me shoved under tower for 30 minutes as nobody comes to my lane to offer any sort of assistance. Since no one cares about what top laners do, they'll hang them out to dry. Twice my farm gets to poke me. I mean, look at that, like, how does one respect ranged top laners? I've never figured out how to do it, but he's asking to die. Bruh. No. If you're gonna go for that, you gotta make it clear before you keep running. And also, he could have stunned him a little bit earlier. However, I still have Ghost, and he's still overextended. The trolls are going to war. But he's gonna get six. Come on, come on. Sit your ass down. No respect, baby. Try and double hop away from me, see if I give a shit. Surprisingly, I've actually- oh god. He's a big problem now. Just so we're all on the same page that Tr Kendon's about to, like, hard carry the game. I don't know how Vladimir lost this matchup so hard, but... Cue him flashing into every single person on our team and just wiping us all out with his one button. Too much CC. A little bit ambitious there, but it's whatever. 
He'll pay for that. Plus, he can't even seem to, like, stop taking tower shots. What's he gonna do, back and then try and teleport? I ain't gonna let him. Probably didn't hit him with that, but... He's backed, or at least he should be. Which means now I take two plates for his transgression. So all that gold he just got, I'm pretty much just getting it back right now. Cannon's mid. Would have loved to get one more plate there, but the little bastard bought boots tier 2. Once again, highlighting just why I hate him. But, to be fair, his kill on me was... He earned it. I put myself in a position to die. Um, Nar just has a combo that keeps you stunned for 30 years. So, if I could have pressed WR, I would have walked away just fine. But, you know, looks like he can do a free 40% of my health without having to worry about me returning damage. Let's crank is dead. Ash is doing really well as well. Ow. Hold up. Did he auto me right here and then get pillared and not take a tower shot? Because I'm pretty sure that's what I saw. Extra move speed, but it's out of combat move speed. Oh my god, Blitzcrank is up here? What the? I don't know. This one feels weird, man. They're gonna just abuse Ezreal over and over and over, and Blitzcrank might do one of those things where the support says, Sorry ADC, you're so bad that I'm giving up on you. And to the ADC it feels like they're being trolled. But then the Blitzcrank will just be such a pain in the ass to other solo laners just by sitting there the entire time that they end up doing fine and like turning the game. I mean, this is just typical, I guess. He's not even managing the wave. He's just mindlessly shoving me underneath my tower. No second thought about it. This is just what he's doing. To each their own. I guess if, uh, if you like playing like a giant baby... Couldn't play his Fiora. God, no. Even though Fiora actually, like, kind of does well against Trundle. If you have even half an idea of what you're doing. Kennen's about to go wipe them all out. Maybe not. Or maybe I'm about to die to Kennen. I don't really know, because this is just suspicious at this point. Hit him with my, uh, arc. Oh, come on, dude. Really? <sighs> Whatever. This is embarrassing. Wild. What I've always not enjoyed about this game, oh God. he can probably kill me now. I'm under my tower all game, bro. Just 
perma shoving me under. We can kill him. Just gotta let him know. I'm not trying to flame him. I know dragon's coming up, but the the advantage of getting Trundle a kill is that um, the tower just dies after that happens. Because now this dude thinking he's all good. Good. Let him flash away like a little baby. Dude's completely out of line running at me like that. Constantly. No, 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 no. We can't. We can't. Bail. Bail. It's not worth it. Bail. Nice. Oh, dude, kill him. Or just, like, beat his ass. Okay, he's gonna die. Hell yeah. Don't chase him, you're not gonna catch him. Okay, I was ready to TP if things popped off. I'm a little annoyed that I died like that because he tried to force the grubs and it was just a terrible time. Like, Kennen can do what he wants. It sucks that Leona got that shut down as well. If Vlad got it, it would have been a lot better. Where are you going, dumbass? You forget about him? You can hear the, uh, the disgust in my voice. Are they gonna try and do it? No, please. God forbid, Kennen. Oh my God, he went back mid. This dude doesn't have teleport. Nars Tower is potentially gone. Despite the shakiness of the early lane, we end up cashing in on that extra gold for the first tower. Perfect. Nice job, Nar. You shoved me under, tried to take all those plates, and what'd you get for it? A nice gray screen, and you lost the tower. And they shut down Ash. Enemy double kill. Nope, we're not gonna overreact like little babies and just surrender instantly. Okay, you guys have to be aware that you could get ganked, and if they pull off a good one, you're just gonna die. I, like my I don't know what Vlad thinks he's gonna do if he walks up here, but... Okay. Thanks for the 30 gold, I guess. He's got to have somebody nearby for him to waste his jump like that. Oh my god. Is he gonna try it still? How are you- Oh, he picked the rock back up. Okay. I'll get all of my health back off of this wave, pretty much. Something about Nar's move speed with this fleet footwork shit is just... stupid.
horse shit. Crazy. Vlad, what are you doing? Okay, he should be able to kill this guy, I think, or he's gonna die to Echo. I'm not really losing, per se. I was against a Nar. Okay, but that's like a built in losing lane. But just to point out, you know, if we're gonna point out losing lanes, quote, <laughs> how's Ezreal doing? Thought he was uh, getting his ass beat, but Vlad is just in like he's turbo inting. He he's doing absolutely nothing. And then Nar is just a bunch of BS. He gets one gank. Where do you think you're going, brother? <laughs> nice flash, nerd. gonna watch me hit just wants to run her mouth. Maybe it's... One death, definitely my fault. The first death of mine, I should have just not died. Um, ah, okay, so they just... What the fuck? Why is this kid... So much damage. I can't walk up there. Unfortunately. Yeah, see, look at him. He's running after me. Is he still gonna chase? He is. Thirsty, bruh. All that smack talk Leona's talking, your ADC went from 5 0 and 3 to 5 4 and 5, so I don't know what you're running your mouth for. Maybe you're just mad because your ADC is auto-filled and can't actually carry with the kills that they have. But yeah. I don't really think 3, 4, and 2 is losing, quote, losing the game. They just have 900 tons of AP damage.
Oh, and Leona talking about I lost lane. I took the first tower of the game. Despite being down farm and having not the best score. It's pretty normal to have a farm deficit against one of the harder counters that your champion has. Just putting that out there. And all this shit is part of the reason why I want to take a break from this game. You just run their mouth, they're toxic, you make one mistake, you feel like garbage about yourself, and then you get other people laying into you because of it. chase off, but I got a shutdown on Nar. Or not Nar, sorry, Ezreal. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna leave it up to them to complain and like say yes. <laughs> I've made Grandmaster 62% win rate over 70 games does not scream I made Grandmaster. If you were that good, you'd be dominating this game. Although, I will say, they're Emerald 1 and they're in like a mid-diamond game, so... There might be some credibility, but... Don't really understand talking smack, like, okay, so you're a higher rank, and you're, like, technically smurfing, so why are you surprised that things aren't going amazing, if you think everyone else is garbage anyway? I bet somebody will say yes right at the end of this. I'll say it's my fault, but like, Udyr ganked and Echo was sitting up top to counter gank. Nice try, guys. Okay, I mean... What, what are you complaining about, Echo? Hitbox? Shut up. who essentially claimed Nars shut down because he isn't stupid and knows how to play the game. It was me! 5, 4, and 3, baby. Keep running that mouth, Leona. Might not be my best game ever. Didn't start too hot, but I think it's miles and miles above a Vlad going 0, 7, and 1. I get that he's probably trying to catch himself up by farming in a side lane, but yeah, no, that, that dragon's gone. Although we are a little bit lucky that Nar flashed just after getting hit by... Um, getting after getting hit by Leona. somewhere. Oh, damn it. That's not good. Oh, uh, yeah. There you go, Vlad. Be a hero. Actually, he might have killed Echo. Or he might die. Okay, he did kill Echo. And he died. Echo flashed out. They get an inhib, but should be able to stop him from taking more. If Vlad, I don't know how did Vlad lose so hard to this cannon. If they're both ranged, and Vlad is Vlad. Vlad literally has infinite sustain during lane. Mm. 
Grandmaster player checking the dragon there. As if that's gonna help. I'm glad they said no, we're down by five kills. All these surrender votes are simply out of rage and people not wanting to attempt to play correctly to get back into it. They just assume, ah, the game's over, I can't do anything. Game's over, I wasn't the one hard carrying, so clearly we couldn't possibly bring this one back and win. I wonder if they can see me. I think they... maybe they can. She's dead. Okay. Let's go in for a kill. And by the way, this is like mid-diamond, but that doesn't mean people don't shut their brains off and play like idiots, as exhibited by whatever Blitzcrank just did. People start to think they're invincible because of their rank. Just like me dying to Nar for that first time. Put myself in a stupid position and was blissfully unaware. No 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 no. Echo's alive and he's got he's got his W coming from out the woodwork if we walk up. Or Kennen. Kennen could just flash over a wall, press R and kill us all. And admittedly he did kind of slow down and stopped being as useful. Oh boy. No, Leona. What the hell was that? Oh, look! We split. You guys have Vlad and Udyr and Ash. You should be able to take that as I crush down mid and take an in hit. the inhib, but I can get this. Now they might not want to surrender. And guess what? It's because of a level-headed player not just surrendering the game. <gasps> and I got two full items because of that. Oh no, who could have possibly guessed that if we just don't assume it's a loss, we can maybe make some plays and start coming back. Let's see if Leona will actually take the bait and well not a bait, but let's see if they'll fist bump. Probably not. I thought. I don't have this. No no no. Need vision on echo and can. If Echo gets a stun, we're just boned. I get that soul, I can get top in hit. Leona will probably say something now. Are they up here looking for me? Nope. Mm, it might be better for me to go down there. Nar has TP as well. 
Oh man. There's Blitzy. Nard is... No, no, no. Now I don't like this. This ain't good. Okay, so they got soul anyway. Nar flashed out and lived. Vladdy went a little too hard. I like how Kennen like <laughs> ulted in and then just died before his ult even like ticked even twice. Okay. Oh and yes, I know I was typing to Leona earlier, but I just didn't see why they were why are you focusing a losing lane? Well, I might have lost to a cannon? Or sorry, I would have lost to cannon too, I think. But I don't know if I would have gone down five or six kills to him. No, not a good fight. Goddamn reason. There we go. Killed Echo, killed Nar. We win the game. Leona can kiss my ass, Mr. Mr. or Mrs. Grandmaster. I don't even care if I sounded a little toxic this game. I think I stayed level-headed and proved that I deserved that win. And also, Ash deserved it, Udyr deserved it, even Leona deserved it. But if I hadn't said no to those surrender votes, we would have lost. So, I'm actually going to give it to Vlad for staying cool, because he didn't say anything, he just did what he had to do. Alright, well, let's just check the charts real quick. Damaged champions, pretty... Pretty good compared to the rest of the people in the game. Damage to towers, 26,000 or 25,000 almost. So we did what we needed to do. GG, well played, and I'll see you in the next commentary. Peace.